Hello and welcome to a segment I like to call Chris is a little bit too old to get cool toys like this for Christmas. So what I have here today is a Brainetics Deluxe set with 7 DVDs to help your little baby brain rewire itself for the adept concepts of math. And quick, what's the fifth root of 248,832? If you listen to these seven DVDs, you'll be able to you'll be able to do that inside of your nine-year-old brain. That's right. This box may be opened at the age of nine. If you're under the age of nine, you're not going to be able to, you know, get the fifth root of things uh, of large numbers. Also, if you're over the age of ninety-nine, screw you. You're not allowed to open this box for your uh, mind is too advanced for its little antics. Also, I feel like it's kind of stealing the Lego version of things by putting a little explanation mark at 99, meaning at any age you can start to learn math, blah, blah, we get it. The more I think about it, the more I start to realize that this is simply just a form of torture within a box. So why not open it and let's torture ourselves tonight. Let's do some math. <laughs> So I'm gonna take out DVDs 1 through 7, take out most of the mass within this box. This is most of what's in the box. And you know since there are 7 DVDs that there is 3 in one of these boxes and it happens to be the middle one which kind of annoys me. Why didn't they put it in the first one or the last one? The middle one's just kind of odd. I mean, I guess it would be more odd. Who cares, dude? My OCD is getting to me, even though I don't have OCD. My fake case of OCD is getting to me. All right, let's take a look at this Math Memory Amazing Playbook for the first two DVDs. Let's get started. And right away, it gives you a multiplication table, which is absolutely fantastic. Honestly, I really wish they like did something else with this like it was like a little print uh, like a paper handout that you could just kind of peel off it was like it could be a sticker i could put on like i don't know my cool math textbook where i could just bring it into school and be the big brain that everybody looks to and it's like he knows what seven times seven is dude i know what seven times seven is i know that i know that dude Get your favorite big kid, aka parents, to do this with you. Big kid? Who calls their parents big kids? What's that even mean? Big kid. Get your favorite big kid, aka parents. <laughs> what? Who calls their parent big kid? I don't call my parent big kid. I'd be slapped if I call my mom big kid. <laughs> What's that even mean? I'm gonna start calling my parents big kid and I'm gonna get like oh man that'd be <laughs> okay so pretty much yeah just a bunch of practice things like make a multiplication table blah 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 yeah you get the you get the drill pretty much drilling little kids minds with math early in their life I mean at the age of nine that's actually not that early uh honestly I was drilled a lot earlier so they they might be actually getting it pretty easy. And honestly, this doesn't really look like a scary book. In fact, this kind of looks like a kid's menu. This looks like a kid's menu. It looks like I'm at like Olive Garden asking like, look, this looks like an Olive Garden character. Please don't give me a community guideline strike YouTube. Sorry for showing a picture of a yoga noodle. Anyway, there's just... There's journaling as well. The fifth root trick. Oh, okay. I, I've already found the fifth root trick. Let's see if I can read this textbook and be able to do the math on the box on the first try. So let's go ahead and do this nice relaxing, you know, getting ready to sleep type of yoga with this noodle. I honestly don't know what the heck this is. This is a yoga noodle and it's annoying me. Wait a minute. It kind of does look like a tree. And is it doing like the tree? I don't know. Who cares? The fifth root trick. Here's a trick that will baffle anyone you try it on. It involves a multiplying number by itself five times. So, it literally just told me to use a calculator. 
if you would have just said that in the beginning, you told me I'd be able to do this with my mind. If you don't tell me how to do it with my mind, then I'm going to have a mental breakdown. Tell me how to do it. You didn't know. Didn't know it was 25. <laughs> the key is in this chart. Okay, if it's a one-digit number, the product is less than 100,000. If the number is in the tens, it is... Uh, 100,000 to 3 million and so on and so forth I'm not going to read them all from here simply use the one digits from the answer of 5 then add it to the answer to the previous step the root of what the heck to be honest I've been sitting here and reading this for the past 5 minutes and it makes zero sense it doesn't make any sense how did you get that number all right, okay. So we're talking about the 9,700,000 number. I'm not gonna actually read it all, but 25 to the fifth power is that number. Look, the, the square, the sorry, the fifth root of the number is going to be less than 10. If it's less than 100,000, it's gonna be more than 10 if it's obviously they're not random they're most definitely not random they're absolutely not random they can all be square they can all be squared by five so let's look at this 28 million 600 it's 31 so uh, i'm gonna go grab a calculator i probably should have done that first because the calculator is kind of important for bed math bed math and beyond hmm So I come back with goodies being a calculator in my brain. So what is the fifth root of 28? Oh, I'm just going to say 31. 31 to the fifth power. And yeah, I got it right. So I think I got the hang of it. I'm going to say... So... 16,807, what is the fifth root of that? Well, I'm going to say... Uh, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on 5 first to see whether or not it's greater or less than 5. All right. I think it is definitely not 5. It's way too small. It's going to be 7. Uh, 5 and... Okay. And then, it finally clicked. Okay, I, under I, under I understand it now. I get it, okay. So, the trick to finding... <laughs> this is actually kind of cool, huh? So, let's look at the front of the box again. So, now that we know that this is going to be in the 20s, right? No. No, wait. I, I messed that up. That should have been obvious. But I don't know. I messed it up. Okay. So now that we know that, we know that this number, the 248,000 number, is going to be in the tens. So it's going to be, looking at it, it's going to be 12, if I'm not mistaken. 12 to the fifth power is none other than our number. All right. So let me explain how this is explained so it was really confusing because I didn't think it was actually gonna be true but there's like actually a really simple method to find this out it's like mind-boggling it's weird it's so easy you just look at this chart and it says it's gonna be in the tens because it's in between a hundred thousand and three million so what you do then is you go over and look at the number in question and as you can see the first or sorry the last number in the ones place is two. So you go ahead, say it's in the tens place. The last number in this number right here is two. Therefore, it's 12. You add the number in the ones digit to whatever tens place or it's the 20 place. So that's actually really simple. Cool, I learned something. This is fun honestly i'm kind of glad i learned that because we're doing roots now in algebra 2 yeah i mean it's not going to be that exciting but you know 
Also, what the heck is this? 71 divided by 91. Why would I ever need to do that? Hold on. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I don't know an exact number for that. I don't feel like thinking about it. <laughs> what nine-year-old's gonna be like, I know that one. I got that one. No. Why? Why do we know that one? As it literally told us, pull out your calculator and solve it. Pull out your calculator. Oh, it actually says the it says the number right here. <laughs> I don't know what it said. Okay, so this is going to be explained in DVD three. DVD three. I'm really sad I don't have a DVD player. I would have played these DVDs. I'd probably be copyrighted out the absolute crapper. I'd be destroyed. Parents manual. Guess who is gonna snoop in the parents manual? Hopefully it has all the answers. Spaghetti man! Spaghetti man, what is that supposed to, that symbolizes a child? That's like a child born in outer space. Like muscle mass, zero percent muscle mass. My health teacher would be shaking in his boots, dude. Look at those kicks. Look at what he's so hip. Dude, I wish I was like stub man. Look at this little it do it me duele la cabeza oh my gosh he's so hip dude he has a brain on his skateboard he dropped his own brain and put it at the bottom of his skateboard he does not have a brain that cabeza could not hold a la sesos brain Who knew math could be this hot, dude? Who knew? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. This is so dumb. If I was a parent I was reading this, I'd incinerate this instantly. I'm not even reading it. I'm just looking at the illustrations. Wait a minute. I think I figured out why they put all these dumb pictures here. Look how ugly, disgusting that raisin looks. Also, did they, is that supposed to be hair? It's just clicking for me now. That's, uh, that's really disgusting. Get your horny layer out of my papyrus. Also, I think I have a theory on why they added all of these cool little pictures. It's because, well, for one, the parents' manual is always boring for the children, so they got to add something. But that's the point. They added something to the parents' manual. Why the heck would they add something to the parents' manual? It's for the kids that somehow made their way in. They didn't want them reading the secrets of the parents' manual, did they? They didn't want to share that secret treasure. So what they did was they added these dumb, disgusting pictures. Raisins, disgusting, I don't know, some type of disease. These diseased people to distract them from the treasurous words. The words of knowledge. This is why we say you! are the head coach for your child each day. Although my dad could calculate it 57 times, uh, who cares about what this author, the author of this Brainetics tour, this deluxe set has to say, all I care about is his math secrets and his disgusting depictions of the human mind after a nuclear bomb. But, oh well. I don't really care about the parents manual. It's probably gonna help parents decide that's gonna be me in third term of school. I'm gonna be, <laughs> dude, if I could get an element like that and not get an attention, that would be great. They reuse this picture as well. I just wanna put that out there. I know I'm dwelling on these pictures, but I feel like these are something that should be dwelled on because 
<laughs> they're really like a, they're really the shining star of this entire thing. I'm really happy for this guy right here. He almost looks like, he kind of looks like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> you know, like that he only has shorts on and he's lifting so much more than it looks like he should be because Crash Bandicoot's disgustingly strong. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot's disgustingly strong. He, he like lifts boulders and crap. I still didn't read it. You see that? They're so good at hiding the secret information from the kids. Honestly, I'm st I'm still ADD, ADHD crazy kid. Not being able to read it. I'm too busy looking at these disgusting depictions of people. But I don't really need to read that. Do I though? <laughs> This is my brain when I can't sleep. I was about to say my thoughts, but there's more. There's more in this box. What the heck? Okay. So, oh, ooh. There's another playbook. Is there a third? Where's the third playbook? Oh, it's. Oh, it's not in here. It's not in here. Dude, it's so cold in my room. I'm literally in a fridge. Oh my. What? Is it? It's just playing cards. Just playing cards. Why? Why is there just playing cards? They're brainetics. This isn't just random. And they're really, really bad quality. They're like paper. I could destroy this in like, if I was playing outside in the rain, well, yeah, but usually other, some like actual cards that you buy in like a deck at like the gas station for $5 a deck, they have like some sort of plastic or like lamination. These are just paper. Like it doesn't have any protection against like the elements. Or at least the cards I have had at one point had like some sort of lamination on it. You can't trick me there. I'm not an idiot. I'm just saying they could go outside in the rain there of somewhat fine. Well, let's pull out the disturbing flashcards that literally have no meaning because nobody would ever need to do this in their right mind without a calculator because for one, What? What's this? What's picture? Um, I'm honestly thinking this just on this. I this just broke my brain. What the heck does this mean? One hundred thirty-five times. What do you mean rewritten as? Am I missing something here? Why is this confusing me so? Rewritten. I see the pattern. But it doesn't make sense. Sorry, I, I was probably should have I should have been showing you. You can see like you can see like the line pattern at which they rearrange these numbers down here from the numbers up here. But why would they rearrange the numbers up there to be like this? That doesn't really make much sense to me, but I'd have to learn in DVD4, I guess. So let's go ahead and learn from DVD4 the magic mystery. All right, so I found the place at which they talk about rewriting numbers. It pretty much just says to rewrite a number, do it in this W shape as written but what's the what's the point what's the point of doing so before okay two digit by three digit multiplication as you'll soon see adding another number to the equation uses the same basic principles as two digit by two digit multiplication but there is one more step which is vital before you start you must rewrite the problem by combining the numbers into one five digit number here's an example oh that's not vital 
That's not vital at all. They said that this was vital. No, it's not vital. You don't need to do this. This isn't absolutely vital, dude. All it is is it's just reorganizing the numbers in a way at which you can easily figure out which two you multiply and then add, multiply, add. Just look at it and be like, all right, six times five times two times one, four times five times two times one. Then put it together in the multiplication. What's the point of rewriting the number? I've literally never done that in my entire life. I've never seen this in my life. Why would anybody do that? That seems like it, this. You see all these steps right here? This means it's more complicated. It might be easier, but it's not needed. I think I can take the extra five seconds to write out what I need to do other than writing, rewriting the equation into a longer number. But I don't see what the, why they, what are they, oh. Oh, I, I, miss, I missed a step. I, okay, I was right in my first time of explaining it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't see the step that said you times 1 by 4. I was just looking at it and it said times 4 and 2. I was looking at it I'm like, why are they not doing anything with 1? One? 1's a pretty cool number. Without 1, we wouldn't go so far. Even though with 1, you can't really go far... All right, so I hope you enjoyed my dive into insanity, and now I'm going to dive deep into a fever dream of my own creation, all surrounded by math. Although in dreams, usually if you try to look at a clock, you won't see anything. Therefore, I'm going to be in an endless abyss of something that cannot be comprehended yet seen by my conscious brain while my subconscious tries to make sense of what happened throughout the day and prepares me for life beyond the present. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. I'm here every Sundays. Yeah, I live, I live behind the coffee machine the tea machine, and the coffee machine. Uh, the extra sugar, please, if you have an extra quarter, because I ran out of money a long time ago after the Great War of Brenetics. Thanks for joining my improv show. Uh, <laughs> I'm here every Sunday. I'm rejigging, making the same. I'll just keep repeating over and over myself. All right. That's pretty much all I have to say about Brainetics. I had something to say. Hold on, wait, let me think about it. I'm pausing the video. So you know me, after I unpaused the video recording, I went on like a 10 minute rant about a bunch of things I was planning on doing on YouTube, why I didn't make any YouTube videos for like, you know, uh, around a couple, maybe a month actually. I haven't made a video in a while. So pretty much I'm gonna sum it all up. For one, I'm working on something larger that's not going to be filler like everything else on my channel and uh i haven't been posting a lot because i'm a little bit scared of the community guidelines strikes that i've been getting and you know what's a lot more important than ad revenue the memories that i've made along the way the eight years of youtube videos that i have on my channel there's zero percent way any money in the world could stop me from wanting to keep those there i mean i should probably save it that would be a responsible thing to do but keeping on youtube so like convenient <laughs> also i'm heading down to florida tomorrow so i'm going to be trying to make some vlogs although you know i don't really enjoy recording myself in public but i was thinking to myself who cares why not just record like the good old days when i turn on the camera and just go crazy with my brother and sister in Florida. So this is going to be an absolute blast. I'm going to take some recordings, maybe bring the GoPro, do some stuff, and just have a fun time down in Florida while vlogging. And hopefully the experience is as funny as I'm expecting it to. Because usually my past videos, I still rewatch them to get some good laughs. Also, if you managed to get this far in the video, congratulations. I'm here to award you with this medal of honor. This medal of war. Because if you managed to get this far in the video, you know you've just been through some things. You deserve something. I mean, I, I actually, I don't have it.
but we can pretend. So here it is. Here is your award. Take it with great honor because you deserve it after watching through such a painful video to watch. I literally talked about math for 20 minutes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next weird filler video that I make that nobody will watch because it's not funny, it's disappointing, not even my mom could watch through it. Although I have to watch through it multiple times to edit. Wish me luck. Also, give me that back.